So now that we have this base service provider, it's time to hook it up to our tests. Let's go to any of our tests here. Let's pick press file parser test. Now currently, we are extending the test case from TestBench directly. But typically, you actually extend your very own test case. And that's what I want to tackle in this video. Let's go ahead and create a new PHP class, and we're going to call it test case. Namespace, Victor VT, press tests. Hit OK, and here we are. So I'm going to extend test case. But what test case am I extending? The orchestra test bench case. And from now on, all of our tests are going to actually extend our very own test case. And to do that, we actually simply delete the use case, which will default to a base package of VicGonVT press tests test case. Obviously, that's where it is. Markdown test, same thing. And we don't have anything in the units test. Now, I do want to jump back and run PHP unit. Now, just to prove that we are in here, I'm going to remove this and run the test one more time. And we fail. OK. So at this stage, how would we load that base service provider? There is actually a protected function called get package providers. So when we override this method, we can now return our very own array. And all it would need is the press base service provider class. And that's it. Now that press based service provider will get registered with all of our tests. So if we wanted to find where this method is defined, let's do some digging. Let's jump into the test case inside test bench and then inside testing, we'll jump into this create applications trait. Now there are a lot of methods in this creates application trait that ultimately you can bring into our test case. And here's the one that we are looking for, get package providers. Now notice that get package providers actually has an instance of app. This create applications trait does the heavy lifting of all of our testing. And this is one of those benefits of using TestBench. It really handles a lot of the inner things that need to happen for a Laravel application to fire up. So for now, we're going to be overriding this method here. I do want to bring back this doc block. So right down here, I'm going to paste that in. Now at this point, we are not accepting app so let's go ahead and do that now app so just like that our press based service provider is ready to start accepting any resources that our package needs so in our next video we're going to start tackling some of those resources